Exercise. Yeah. This is titled Be Ever Wonderful in Your Own Way. We're all unique, we're made in God's uniqueness. We're blessed to wake up this morning, so thankful. So, so thankful, so humble to just have the opportunity have this day and to be able to speak to you all. We wanted to give that opportunity. So I just wanted to say good morning. Start this off. I'm on my way here. <clears throat> here I was listening to the radio and they were talking about you know taking care of your health and being good and, and talking about um, the gentleman I said something about even if we have provided our bodies all the nutrients that we did that we need for our bodies to function properly and operate the way that we need it will we be consistent in keeping it up and doing it um, the following day or the, the next day after that. So it is kind of like a challenge to make sure that you that you're getting everything that you need to make you operate and be the best you that you can be. Um, can't believe we're we're coming into May already. And happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Coming up. Nobody knows what we go through, but we do. You know, it ain't easy, but it takes a village. It takes all of us. The sisterhood is real. The sisterhood is real, real. So um, don't want to keep you. Just wanted to come and say, you know, take care of your health. And, you know, it, your body and everything will take care of you. Um, so... As we move forward, um, we have an event coming up on May 3rd, which is this Monday. So that I hope that you'll be able to join myself and uh, my partner, uh, business partner, my sister in business, uh, Miss Peggy Teller Short. Um, we're baking the at, we're, we're baking the power of credit and wealth uh, um, and sharing it with others. So I hope that you will come out and hear what we have to say um, to you all because we are working together to achieve a common goal, and that's our team goal, and that is to go out here and help some people change their lives. And, you know, if you've been following me for a while, you kind of know that's my life story. I've always been a part of teams in some way, form, or fashion that have had some sort of impact on other people's lives and helping people become the best of them that they can be so that they can be ever wonderful in their own way as they see their life as they go on you know nobody's perfect and you, we don't expect you to be perfect but we do expect you to believe in you you know because that's that's the key that's the key factor key factor to be where I am right now um, not that it's about me but 
is in some ways it is I've grown in so way so many ways. And it was through my growth, the journey that I've taken, the people that stopped and, and cared enough to stop and listen to me in my times and hours of need or in confusion, because sometimes it would be situations or circumstances. Um, a little bit about uh, Finding Your Way, the ebook, it is available now on Amazon.com. So bear with me as I'm learning the different new platforms and uh, finding ways to get the links out to you guys and um, so that you can have it if you choose to. Um, the book is on its way. Had a little couple issues with the cover, um, but thank God I was able to get a, a meeting, a, a brief session of someone that can kind of help move me forward. So I'm grateful for this. And, you know, I, uh, the forward in, in the book, Finding Your Way, uh, is written by a lady that is um, very dear and valued in not only my family and our hearts, but in the city community, Camden City community itself. Um, she served many youth and the parents for years in the city uh, through the response, respond daycare program. Um, Miss Ann, Miss Anna Sadler, uh, I call her Miss Ann Sadler. Beautiful woman, so down to earth. Um, I met Miss Sadler when uh, my one of my my son was going through his man child years, and if any parent that's raising a young man knows some of the challenges we may face, doesn't mean that they're bad young men it's just me that sometimes they make the wrong choices or put themselves in the wrong situation sometimes and need guidance and miss ann played a very vital part in my family's life and helping us get things on track guiding and and helping me as a mother through the challenges that we face with our man children young adolescent teenagers um that are that we're helping grow and go into um adulthood and that, that transition is not always easy sometimes so we do our best to try and listen to them and and see if we can hear where there's troubles and things and even as much as you try to be on top of it, you still could miss things. And I found that it was helpful having Miss Ann Sadler and her team support, as well as many others in the community that worked with her to work with the youth. Um, I must say it was, it, it was very beneficial um, to this day, you know. But, you know, my son still considers her like his number one. So, you know, much respect, you know, to Ms. Ann Sadler and all that she's done. We thank you for all that you've done for the children and the community and the parents. Um, finding your way is a journey. It's a woman's journey. Uh, how she's done everything quote unquote, what a woman or a person, an individual is to do to improve her life, make her life better. You know, um, especially if you tend to start out not so much that you don't listen, but you might take a different direction or the path that your parents, our parents intended for us, we, we tend not to live up to. Um, at the time, but eventually if you stay 
They say as a child, as you raise a child, they shall not stray. So it must be true. So in this story, it tells the journey. You know, uh, I wish I could say that, you know, I didn't enjoy what I did at the, the jobs that I had or had to like real complain about working. Um, it, it wasn't that. Uh, it was just so, you know, when, when things get real, and I mean when things get real, when things get real, it, 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 Twenty seventeen was a monumental year. A lot of things had taken place by twenty seventeen that had I not had the faith in God that I have, knowing that the words that I read, whether I understand them or not, I sit and I read them until I do get an understanding of them over and over again. It, 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 it's really true that uh, God will take care of you no matter what the situation. And I'm glad that God has stepped in in so many situations in my life and not only my life, but the people's lives around me and that I am around, whether they're my immediate circle uh, co-working circle, uh, you know, associate circle, re intimate relationship circle, you know, um, God, God is just a blessing. It's just a blessing, but it's true that you have to put in the work. You have to, and you can't take the shortcuts. Shortcuts don't do it. It, it, sure, because it might help you get to where you're going, but are you, are you going to be ready when you get there? Because you might have missed something, taking a shortcut that you needed that's going to help you once you arrive there. You know, um, it's it's something life is because we're born and then we die. And it's that mark that we leave in between that we try to make the difference. And sometimes we have to sit back and just assess, you know, sometimes we're so busy doing, doing, doing that we really don't sit back and look and see and, and, and see where we come from and where we are. And like I said, I'm, I'm humbled to, and, and grateful to be able to come for you all and just share my story, share some of some of my story with you all. I don't know if my story, who it resonates with, who is this for, you know, um, do I feel as though that I'm a coach, a teacher, any of those things? No, I'm just a woman that decided to take a chance on herself when I saw that you can go to work every day and many of us do. We're out here and we're trying to help as many people as we can um, in whatever way that we can. Uh, the field of human services has tons of categories under it in which one that was interested could go to school for it, earn a degree um, and work within that too to help if helping people is your thing in whichever way because there's so many ways that you can help people um, and <sighs> like I said 2017 this is hard because it's not my story to tell it's not my story at all and I believe she's told her story not only to people in the community those around her, those that have gone through what she's gone through. So she even told it to the state legislators and they didn't deem that it was 
for what she had written up and hopes to help protect and save her co-workers in the future from what she went through. They, they shut it down. And I don't know exactly where it's all at right now. Uh, last I heard, we were still trying to get it to pass and it's called Leah's Law. And uh, I don't know why our state officials don't think that Leah's Law is important, but it is. And I think it's something we need to sit back down and revisit because people are out here every day doing their job, risking their lives because the most important thing that I love about this whole journey and experience is that it's the same as living everyday life because your mindset determines everything about you, how you will, who you will be, who you will become, who, how you will act and interact, how you do with others. You know, how well are you at accepting the part that you played in some of the things that occurred in your own personal life? And I know it's a challenge. It's not easy to do it. You know, it is, it's hard to look yourself in the mirror. It's real hard. But I don't think that people should be worried about their lives, going to work, trying to help. Thank God. God is being a survivor. She's a survivor. And I believe I told this story before, like, uh, you know, you don't have to hang out with a person every day, you know, know all about them, whatever, to connect with them. Sometimes you meet people along the way, whether it's your coworker, outsider, whatever. You just, it's, it's vibe, like, you got good vibe, you know? And she, She's a cool girl. I love her. I, I, I love her. She's a dynamic young woman. I loved her when we worked together. Missed her greatly now that we don't. But um, when I got a chance to speak with her from time to time, she would always tell me, Miss Tia, you know, you got to get out of there. And I, my response would be, Leah, I'm working on it, babe. I'm working on it. Well, I'm here. And I'm working on it. God is good. And I'm here to share another way, an, an alternative. Or maybe, hello, good morning. It's an alternative, an addition, whatever you want to do. We out here hustling anyway, because only real hustlers know. And the, the ones that don't got no hustle with them ain't, ain't even listening to me, so it's cool. You know, it falls on deaf ears, you know, but I say it anyway. Who knows? The replay, somebody might catch it. Something I say might resonate with them and make them say, hey, let me look at my life a little bit there. You know, think about it. I think I posted a video of Eric Thomas. Um, I love to, love to hear him speak. Um, not that I've gotten a chance to see him speak personally, but I've, uh, you know, invest uh, over the years of investing in myself and getting the things that I need to, to, as I'm learning my business, as I'm learning my services, as I'm learning the products. And you will do the same should you choose to join us. You'll be learning the things that you need to do. Um, and you may already have certain skills, but you might just need some, um, oh, since this is a new arena, you might need a little sharpening or some one-on-one -on -one light coaching. You know, it's worth it. It's worth it, the investment. You know, building you, building a legacy, you know, for your family. 
providing choices so that when life situations and circumstances come at you, you can deal with them a little better. You know, but the, the planning stages, the phases are so important through all of that. <sighs> okay. Our children, very important. No parents perfect. None of us are. But we have to be open. We got to listen. Because life can throw us some curveballs as a parent. And to the children of the parents, you know, what are you doing to, you know, ensure that just something kind of nice and comfy you know it's cool when your mom and dad got you but do you have yourself can can you hold yourself mom and dad still got your back we ain't going nowhere that's what we do we we here but we want to see what you made of we want to see what you got in you it might hurt a little bit we might be a little tough you might get told no but if you want it bad enough you'll go get it you'll figure it out you figure everything else out you figure out how to do what you want to do. And I think that's every human being that walks this earth. If we want it, we know exactly how to go, what to do, and how to get it. So, finding your way. Finding your way leads you to pathways. Which path are you going to take? Because it's your life. The world's changing as we know it. Some of us were blessed to make that transition early and get into the building phases. It doesn't matter where, where you're at in it all. So what do you want for yourself? What do you want for your life? Do you really want to leave your life in somebody else's hands? And God forbid, say something should happen, you know. Say something should happen, just God forbid, you know. And through that, you may come across a substantial, a substantial enough amount of money that may possibly set you on the right path for morning. But prior to receiving that financial blessing, you got some things that you failed to take care of or were working on and not getting it done fast enough, but it was an issue. What do you think is going to happen to some of those funds? They're going to go to to those debtors, collectors, that you will. You either pay now or pay later, but somewhere along the way, no matter what. Prevention costs. And sometimes you can do all right things. And you still pay a price that may not necessarily be yours to pay, but you pay a price in life as you will. Then finally, in a way, I talk about how God was a big influence in my life, how He guided my steps. And it's true if you put your faith in God and you talk to him and you develop your relationship with him, he will guide your steps. He may not give you the answer right away. You're still gonna have to do some work and figure it out. Nothing in life is gonna come easy, but if you want it, if you want a better life, you, you'll figure it out. There's no excuses, no answers, but or maybe. And there's so many options of opportunity out here today. 
um, as I was getting dressed, I was watching the news and the newscaster was talking about um, the different ways of how um, employers are going about it now to um, have, have, have employees come to their establishment and work for them. Now don't get me wrong, like I was saying, I'm not one that uh, that don't that's not been working because I'm blessed to be able to have done to be doing what I'm doing. I actually am living my dream life, whether it looks that way to others or not. I'm, it's my dream life. I'm doing what I wanted to do, what I thought. I had the dream career that I wanted to have. It took me a minute to get there. I didn't get there right away. I had to work some other places, but. Um, along the journey, I've, everyone that I've come across, people are generally good people, and people want better for themselves. And, but sometimes they get caught up, or they get off track. And I'm glad to be a part of the team, part of the team that say, it's all right, you made a mistake. Let, let's, let's see how we can get you back on track. You still can make it. You still can win. One little bump in the road, one situation, one circumstance. It may require you to have to abide by some rules. It may require you to abide by and do what's expected of you. It, you with your expectations may be written out for you. And if they are, then start expediting it. Not take one thing off the list at a time and start working at it. And don't wait for somebody to tell you, because if you have the list, and I'm sure you do, look at it, see what you need to do, start taking some initiative and getting some things knocked out the way. The resources are there, the help is there, but you have to want it. You have to work towards it. You know, as much as I, I would love to say the opportunity knocks on the door, it doesn't, but the opportunity does come around. It's, it's whether or not you take advantage of the opportunity that's that's around you or presented to you at the time. And I get it. I get it. Uh, everything lot relies on your finances and how you maneuver them because first thing first, family over everything. Uh, home, you got to take care of home first. But while you're taking care of home, but not better way to take care of home than to invest in yourself so that you can enjoy the things that you work for at your own pace, being your own boss. You know, that's the, that's the greatest thing about it. I don't want to be nobody else. But I, I just want to help those as they come along. You know, if you need help, whatever information I, I have, I'll give it to you. Because you're gonna, it's up to you what you do with it. Over the years of experience, I've learned that, you know, you could hold someone's hand through every through the whole process. But if they didn't take anything in and they didn't take none of the taking in on some of the responsibility of their own well-being and moving forward, when you let their hands go nine times out of ten, sometimes they fall again. But it's not about how many times you fall. It's about how many times you get up. You keep getting up every time. Fall down seven, get up eight. And you know, it's okay. It's okay. It's been a while since I've done a video. I've been practicing the presentation. Um, and I'm meeting some great people along the way. If it wasn't for my team members and partners and, you know, just be, being there to answer questions. Uh, if, if you get lost in your back office, whatever it may be, you need help and support. We're there. We're there for each other. Simple text, group text, personal text, phone call, and so, you know, we're right there. We just wanna come and share with others 
the possibilities. You don't have to feel stuck. You don't have to feel like you don't have a choice because you have many. You just have to select which one is going to work for you. Are you going to be perfect when you start out? Probably not. But you don't have to be perfect to start. But you do have to start to become great. Not only that, perfect doesn't really exist. And what is really normal, because everyone's norm is different. So we're all different. Come be you and share and help others do the same. And hear how becoming an entrepreneur is changing people's lives. It really is changing people's lives. knowing you know there's so much to learn uh, and you're not going to get it all in one walk that's why it's important that you continue to train and it's so funny i gotta tell you this because i've been doing it so long now that when i'm with my family and they see my phone in my hand they're they, they everybody everybody gets this you know, they got a smart remark like to say, I'm trying to be part of the family, still hold on to the trainers because I need them. I need them. I'm a beginner. So while I'm a beginner, I'm also at the beginning of changing my life. And it has changed tremendously. Lewis Scott, I want to say thank you to you. You and I, we talked and we sat down um, and you, you taught me some things and showed me some things, and I appreciate you for that. There's a lot of good people out here. May not necessarily be on my team, may not necessarily be a partner, but their information is good. Coming, being a, you know, product of the product, all I can say is things is changing. God is good. And it's no way I could keep this to myself without at least sharing. And anyone that knows me knows that I share for sharing is scary. Got some new flyers coming out. So look for them. They'll be around in the, in the good, morning. good morning, good morning. They'll be floating around in the South Jersey area. South Jersey area. That's my area. Yeah, that's my area. So I'll be circulating, hoping to get on the move and get things stirred up. We have conference coming up. Um, a couple conferences coming up. So I hope that you guys will come hear about those. Come attend an event. The events are the best. Here's a shout out to room 208. Room 208. Still love you guys. Still rooting for you guys. We got this. Keep it up. I can't see everybody's stuff, but um, I do. The ones I do get to see, I'll be like, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So we got to keep winning, guys, and we're going to continue to help others to win, too. Because helping others to win is, is going to always be a challenge. It's never been an easy, it's never been an easy win. It's always been a challenging win because sometimes we need to change and we don't even know we need to change until something changes in us. That's the only time we take the change. But I'm grateful and I'm praying. <coughs> and I'm praying for my future partners, teammates, because I know what it is to struggle. I know what it is to be there. I know what it is to hit rock bottom and have to work your way back up. And many of us, many of us do. We've been there, done it. The way we go about expressing it and bringing the information to you may be different, but that's why we're all here because we're all unique. 
you don't know who you're going to resonate with. You don't know who is going to say or reach out and touch your life. It's funny because I, I think about it. I'm like, you know, starting out, which I share with you all, and finding your way. Uh, you shoot, starting off, like I said, I am. Um, good morning. Starting the business, and I'm all doing my thing. I think I'm doing it. Mm-hmm. So it's all how you gonna be a business owner and you got debt? You gotta, you gotta get a hustle a little faster to get this debt down. And then I came across Rob Geese, who led me to Quentin Jones, who led me to Carnell Newsom, who then in turn led me to Handy Luigi who is the owner of Handy Luigi and Associates.com. Please look them up because you may need their services as you go along and as you're building. Great team. Not only that, they have, he has some other additional services as well, helping, helping you build brands and things of that nature. Very good fellow. But I'm just saying, it's through the networking of people that you, we get to help others and help them in whatever area they may need the help. And we share that information with other people. We share information all the time. Where is your job hiring? Yeah, how do I get an application? Here go the process. Go online, fill out the application. It might be an application fee, you know, whatever. Give them, you know, we, we do it all the time. Hair, clothes, shoes, what store did you go to? You know, I do it all the time. That's why it doesn't feel like work for me because that's my job to know information, to pass off information that's helpful to help somebody through. So it doesn't feel like work, but it requires me to sit down and do some things. And right now I'm very excited about where my life is going, where the journey's leading me. Do I, do I know exactly where I'm going right now? No, not totally exactly. I have a vision, I have an idea, but You know, they say, if you want to make God laugh, tell him your plan. So God's plans is better than our plans. You do have to use discernment and who you're choosing to, you know, partner with, be under. But at the end of the day, say you partner with someone and they decide they're going to leave, but that don't let that affect you because... You're, you came for your own purpose. You came for your own reason. What are, what's your reason why for being here? I know my reason why is to make a difference in this world, to be able to help those that are going through transitions in their life, to help them through that transition, to give them a space where they can gather their minds, their thoughts, to, to figure out where they wanna go. That's my overall mission but it's a process getting there. It requires a whole lot. So it's gonna require me to do some work, do some research, um, and and get off my butt, get up out the house and start talking to some people to find out how how to be connected so that I can help someone else along the way as I'm going. Ain't that too bad. So far, I think I kind of like the whole outreach thing. That's what it feels like. Been an outreach worker for a while now. And in any form or fashion, whenever you're in the community, you're you're in the heartbeat of it. You, you know, listening to the mothers, seeing the children, you know. Um, it's important that we take care of our families, take care of our communities. You know, if we don't love it and take care of it, ain't nobody else going to love it and take care of it. I shared the video of um, our candidates that are running in, in Camden City for mayor. So, very good debate. Some good points. Some regular shop business talk. Uh, but it's up to us, the residents, to make the difference. Your vote matters. So 
If you ever thinking, walk around here thinking your vote doesn't matter. Ask yourself why they keep trying to stop us from voting. Why is it something that something keeps coming up that they have to vote on themselves as to whether or not we can still have that right? That's crazy, right? But anyway, there's so much going on right now. Look, I'm just trying to keep it on the positive because, you know, we, we just got to keep our head up to the sky and keep on moving. And like I said, be ever wonderful in your own way. Be you. Everybody's not going like you. Everybody's not going to be for you. But if you find someone and their, their, their vibe is cool and, you know, you kind of have the same morals, values, kind of share some similarities like that makes it strong. That's why I'm so glad to have Miss Peggy Teller Short come and join me this on May 3rd and May 5th. She part she just she agreed. I reached out to her and she agreed to work with me. So that was good because sometimes you, you feel lonely out here, but you gotta remember that you're in business for yourself but not by yourself. And we get to bounce ideas off of each other and give each other support and help each other. There's information that she knows that I don't know that, and there's information that I know that she might not necessarily know. So, but it all works together. And that's how, you know, iron shop sharpens iron. So we, we work together. And working together, you know, say teamwork makes the, makes the dream work together we achieve more so together we're coming to you guys and uh, i hope that you register for bake as we what is it uh join us as we bake the power of credit and wealth principle building you know I, I just want to invite you all the time when you see me you know i'm inviting you to something i want you to come hear the information at least just hear it once you hear the information then you can go on and think about it if that's what you need to do if you are ready to act go ahead and act we'll be happy to get you started you know but um just know we out here we out here and we building ourselves while we're trying to help build others and all different arenas because from all different walks of life, but it's changing people's lives. You want to be the change that you want to see. Let today be today for you. Let today be the day that you make that change or start putting things into perspective. And to those of you who have made the change and have are taken the steps to do what you got to do, Congratulations to you. Do the damn thing. Pardon my French. But do it. You got it. You got it in you. You got it in you. Go for it. Go for it and show the world what you got. Because I'm waiting to see some of it. I already know. I seen some, you know, I don't know if that was a vision God gave me myself, but I'm just sitting back. I'm sitting back and I'm just watching. I'm observing. Because you made it over a lot of challenges. You survived a lot of things that many said that you would not survive. You're still here. God's giving you breath in your body and another day to, to make another difference. Starting with you. Starting with you. Go ahead and do it. Leave your mark in the world. Be someone that you can be proud of. You, your family, your children. Something, it's something to be proud of. Hello, how you doing, friend? Show the children that it's more. You put the guns down. We out here killing each other, other people trying to kill us. We doing too much going on. 
We got all these fights going on. We're still fighting just to be a human being. It's crazy. But still and all, we're here. We're fighting. The names are too long to call. But all I know is that I'm trying to do my part today. Whatever I can. It doesn't matter how big or how small. Whether somebody sees me do it or not. It don't matter. I know that God sees what I'm doing and what my partners and I are doing and helping and building lives while we're building our own lives. I'm a beginner. That's why I invite you. I can share a little bit of what I know, but I'm learning it from those that have been in it for some time now and have definitely earned their stripes rightfully to do what they're doing. I can't say I had a bad experience yet. Not saying that I will, but I'm not looking for a bad experience because it's been, I didn't come with the negative experience of uh, thinking that it was gonna be anything but positive. And it is, it brings so much joy. It's funny, you can not make a dime, but you feel good inside your heart. And you know you did something right. I love you guys. Thanks for listening. And I hope to see you May 3rd and May 5th. Look for the posters on Facebook, Instagram. Um, where is it? Facebook, Instagram. I think it's on Google too, guys. Not sure. I can't remember all the sites right now, but check it out get the link register and we'll see you guys on may 3rd hope you're coming out just hear the information that's all we ask listen to the information we thank you and appreciate you we value your time and as well as we value our time so please come any questions you may have we'll have a short q a um section but if you need more in-depth information please get back to the people that have invited you to attend so hit the link information i'm just sharing it so if it's for you it's for you it's not for you it's not for you but happy growing guys you get one life you gotta live it and life is definitely what you make it so if you're winning, keep winning. And if you're not winning, or you feel like you're not winning, because sometimes we can feel like we're winning, but we're still winning, just don't see it. Find out what you can do differently. See what you can change if you need to change anything. That's my take on it, everybody. I love you. Thank you so much for your time. And I hope that I... Uh, got this done in enough time so I could do church service because I, I, I'm such a sticker to my schedule. It's terrible. I really am. I, I, don't, I do not like to interrupt it to do something else when I'm focused. But today I had to come to you and let you know. Finding your way leads you to pathways. So which path are you going to take? Have a blessed day, everybody. I love you. Take care.